Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I want to show you guys a cheap mount that you can put inside your car for your handheld UHF radios. Now we've had these Union ones we got on Facebook Marketplace for a couple of months now and I, I really struggled to find any sort of mount or mounting device to actually mount them in the inside of your G4 wheel drive, whatever it might be. I don't know if they actually do make one for handheld, handheld UHF radios. If they do, please leave in the comments below because I really struggled to find something. Obviously they had those hard mounted ones you can get for the hard mounted UHFs that you kind of just slot into but because these have like a little clip on the back of it that you can put on your your belt, your pocket, whatever I really struggled to find something and where I was having it where I hold my phone just wasn't stable enough being afraid I always kind of slid back and forward so I came up with this little idea now I've pr this is pretty strong and it will work uh, what it is is just a magnetic phone holder uh, like a suction cup one that we got from eBay now this suction cup holder was about twenty dollars you can get them from Amazon, eBay, your local shops, wherever, a variant of different prices. Um, but we use the back end that would normally attach to your phone to attach to the back of the UHF radio. Um, and now that, because that's got a magnet on it, and then the mount's got a magnet on it, what it'll do, it will just stick there, or hold it nice and tight, then when you are off-road, can't go anywhere, and you can just unclick it like you would your phone. And because this has got a little clip on it, I hard-mounted the little magnet to the clip, and it's stuck on there really well. It's been on there for probably a week now um, and it's got no sign of it actually coming off. It might come off under, after maybe a hundred goes of actually taking it off the magnet, off the magnet, something like that. But I'm keen, I'm keen to put it to test because I found nothing that will actually work with a handheld UHF radio. I'm going to jump in the Jeep, we're going to mount it, show you guys how and what my thought process behind it is. I'm sure I'm probably not the only person to try this idea but if I am, might have been something new. But if you guys have got any other ideas on how to mount handheld hand UHF radios, please let me know. Um, and if you guys like the idea and it's helped you guys, leave a comment, hit the like button and actually let me know how it's helped you and if it's actually a good idea or not. Let's jump in the Jeep and give it a go. All right, so this is the general area that I would want it. My phone's set up here, so I've got this beautiful bar and pretty much just all this free space here and it's kind of centered to me, the passenger, if I can't reach the UHF when I need it, it'd be a great spot for them to grab it as well. So I've got this whole area, I was going to set up like that, kind of face on um, uh, to the centre of the car. I think off-centred, so the actual UHF will be pointed towards me like so, will be a better option. Okay, so my mistake, in the pack that they give you, that actually comes with this 3M mounted pad um, for the suction cover to sit on. So we'll be putting that, clean the service and mounting this to the actual dash itself. And because the suction cover, I should have read the instructions first. That suction cover is just for the windows, and this pad here is for like the dash and stuff like that. So it's good they provide that in the kit. So we're using the cleaning lights provided, clean that area, and attaching that to about there ish. So to get my position just right, I've mounted the actual um, mount to that base plate. That way I can just take that off that 3M backing mount to where I want it, about say about there, and that way my position's exactly right. So I've given that a quick wipe down, and take that backing plate off. It will be mounting, get the UHF. As you can kind of hear, it pulls up a little bit at the back, like this plate here on the Jeep isn't completely flat um, and it's taking a little bit for it to stick so I'm just creating a lot of pressure down on that mount to get it to stick. It shouldn't go anywhere, like it's pretty solid, giving that a bit of force and all I'm doing is sticking a UHF handout all right so that's pretty much it for today guys I really like the way this has actually turned out 
It's an, a very convenient, easy to get to spot, and it comes off super easy. Probably even easier than the hard mounted ones you get with like your solid mounted UHF radio, which you kind of have to like click it into that little clip. This way you can kind of not chuck it, but like it just sticks to it really well with the magnet. It's very easy to get on and off. My three year old son can do it easy enough, um, and it's in a perfect location that. If I'm driving and I can't get to it, or I need to concentrate that the passenger can easily get to it. Um, we saw the hard mounted ones there, because they've got the wire coming down there in just like a weird position. I'm not saying this is uh, better than a hard mounted one, they've both got their pros and cons and all that sort of stuff. But I just really like how this has turned out, it's in a great location, it's very easy to use, and it's very cheap as well. As you know, a lot of our videos are based around a budget sort of style, because we don't have a shitload of money. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't have a shitload of money as well. So I hope this has appealed to a lot of other people and not just myself. Um, as I said before, we'll leave links down for eBay and Amazon down below. I'm pretty sure you could pick these up from Super Cheap Auto or any sort of car parts store in your area. They're very, um, they're kind of everywhere at the moment, I guess, because they're just like a universal phone holder. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video and you think it's a great idea or it's helped you with your mounting your UHF, whether it be a handheld one or a fixed one please let me know in the comments if it has helped you and you do like this and also hit that like button as well it really helped me out as well and if you can and if you want to please subscribe and we'll be putting this to the test tomorrow when we well the weather's a bit shit at the moment should have torrential rain this whole week but we'll be putting it to test tomorrow when we go up the beach to see how much it actually holds up we've been driving with it on the road and it's held up really well but obviously an off-road test will be the main decider and how well it's actually going to hold up and how well that magnet's going to stand the test of time but that's pretty much it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys next time